Hi, welcome to yoga. This is a 15 minute yin yoga routine. It's a perfect bedtime yoga ritual to wind down and then fall asleep. I'm Dr. Christine. Pause this video while you go gather a few objects. You may want a pillow, a meditation cushion, a yoga block, a blanket, an eye mask, or one of those buckwheat hot packs. Just gather the things that you think you'll want. You certainly don't need all of those things. When you're ready, return to the video. Now take a seated position, either on your mat or on a meditation pillow. Sit with your legs crossed and your spine tall. Imagine zipping your spine up tall. Your core is engaged, but in a relaxed way. Breathe gently in and out through the nose or into the nose and out through pursed lips. Inhale your arms up high overhead. Gather up some of those good vibes the universe has for you and draw them down between your hand palms in front of your forehead. Pause here and release any tension you've carried with you through the day. Bring your hands to heart center and bring your awareness from your head down into your heart. Take a few steady breaths here. Nice. Now we're going to begin with the sound of OM. If you're uncomfortable with OM, simply hum like a bumblebee. OM. Pause in your stillness for a moment. Wonderful. Come out of your seated position and take tabletop pose. And then we're going to settle into a wide legged child's pose. In wide legged child's pose, open your knees to be on the edges of the mat. Touch your toes together behind your bum. And now slowly lower your chest and forehead down to your mat, reaching your fingertips up to the top of the mat and pressing your bum down to your heels. In yin yoga, we hold poses a bit longer than typical, so you may want to put a pillow under your belly or chest so you can allow your body to completely surrender to this pose. If there's any tension in your body, use your pillows and blocks and props to support your body. Continue breathing gently, either in and out your nose or into the nose and out through the mouth like you were blowing on hot coffee. Come out of your wide leg child's pose, gradually inching yourself back upright. Move your pillow aside. And now come back into tabletop with your knees and hips at 90 degree angles. Your hands are under your shoulders. We're gonna do melting heart or puppy dog pose. With your hips above your knees, melt your chest and your forehead down to the mat and push your fingertips up toward the top of the mat as best you can. This can feel intense in the shoulders. If you like, again, you can put a pillow or a prop underneath your chest to bring the mat a little closer to you. Ease into this pose and point your breath toward any areas of tension.
come out of your puppy dog pose and back into tabletop. Now we're going to thread the needle. Inhale your right arm up toward the ceiling. Turn your gaze to look up at the right hand and now thread the right arm under the left and place your right ear on your mat and your right shoulder on the mat. Press your left fingertips up toward the top of the mat. Your hips are above your knees and your spine is twisted. You'll get a nice opener in the shoulders and ribs. Unthread your needle and return to tabletop. And now pre we'll prepare to do thread the needle on the other side. Inhale your left arm high, gaze is up. And then as you exhale, thread the left arm under the right, left ear to the mat, left shoulder to the mat, right fingertips to the top of the mat. Try to keep your hips stacked above your knees. Point your breath to that area between your shoulder blades. Unthread your needle and return to tabletop. Now sit on your mat again with your legs extended out in front of you and then slowly lower yourself down to lie down on your back. Bring your knees into your chest and then straighten the legs so that your heels are pointed up to the ceiling. This is called waterfall. As you hold your waterfall pose and breathe gently, just notice the sensations of having your feet up above your head. This is a great way to allow gravity to help you unwind. Come out of your waterfall by bending your knees and placing your feet on your mat. Lift your shoulders and lift your hips to give your spine a little reset. Now we'll take figure four. Bend your right knee and place the right ankle above the left knee. And now pull that left thigh in closer to your chest so that your legs resemble the figure four. This pose is a great stretch for the piriformis muscles and the muscles of other muscles of the glutes. Come out of the figure four, give your hips a little lift to reset the spine, and we'll do figure four on the opposite side. Bend the left knee, place the left ankle above the right knee, pull that right thigh in toward your chest. Point your breath toward the backs of your thighs and glutes and hips. Be careful to not arch your low back up off the mat.
Release your figure four, place both your feet down on the mat again. Lift your hip and shoulder to give a little spinal reset. Now lie down on your side, and we're gonna do cat chasing its tail. Lie on your left side, extend the top right leg out in front of you, bend the bottom left leg, and reach behind you to hold on to that left ankle. This is a spinal twist as, long, as well as a quad stretch. Release and lie down on your back. Do a little spinal reset by lifting the hips and now hug your knees in toward your chest. If you like, rock back and forth a bit. Give your lumbar spinal muscles a little massage. Now we'll set up cat chasing its tail on the opposite side. Lie down on your right side. Stretch that left straightened leg out in front of you. Bend the right leg behind you and reach for it. Give yourself a spinal twist and look over that upper shoulder. Release your pose. Return to lying on your back and draw your knees into full wind pose again. Rock yourself back and forth if you like. You can also take happy baby. In happy baby, your legs are wider and your hands are clasping the soles of your feet. Release your wind pose or happy baby. Gather up any props that will help you to be more comfortable in Shavasana. Maybe a pillow, a blanket, an eye mask, or a hot pack. In Shavasana, lie down on your back. Arms are out to your sides, palms facing up. Let your feet splay to the sides a bit. Close your eyes and settle into a nice, still and steady breath. If you prefer, you can also take the yin pose of resting position. That's with your feet flat on the floor or mat and the knees bent. Balance the knees by touching them together. Get ready for a good night's sleep. Namaste, my friends.